What's going on everybody? This is James with Top Class Detail and today I'm bringing you guys a business structured video that's going to let you guys know about five things I wish I knew before I started my own business or five things I wish people told me about prior to entrepreneurship. So if this video helped you guys in any way possible, please drop a like, share it with somebody who's looking to start a business or someone that already owns one and maybe this can help them out as well. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Drop a like, drop a comment and let me know how you liked it. So starting off at number one, one of the biggest things that I feel like no one tells you when it comes to starting your own business or let alone a detailing business is that there's no cheat sheet. There's no book that tells you everything you need to know that tells you how to go about things, what you need to do in a specific process. And I feel like that's one of the most scary things for people starting out. And what I mean by that is one of the most questions I get asked is, do you need a license? Do you need an LLC? What do you need to start the business? And I feel like there's no one or there's not many things out there to show you the right path to go about it. And let alone me being my own business owner, I had to learn a lot of this stuff by myself. So from YouTube, from Google, or let alone talking to other detailers. So if you guys aren't too sure about what you need, get in contact with someone who already is at that point where you want to be at. They already have their licenses, they already have their LLC, they already have everything it is that they need to run their business they'll be able to help you. But I feel like that's one of the biggest things is going into it blindsided, not having um, a cheat sheet and knowing exactly what you need to do. Nobody really tells you that. All you see is the social media or the good part of the entrepreneur life, but you never see the truth that goes in behind the scenes as far as the long hours, the struggling and having to find things out on your own. And coming in at number two, one of the things that I feel no one tells you when it comes to running your own business is if you go from a nine to five to starting your own entrepreneurship, whether it's a business, um, selling a class, a course, anything like that, is that you're gonna work a lot more running your own business than you are working a nine to five. And I stress that to a lot of people. So what I mean by that is majority of people who work the regular nine to five, they're able to clock in from nine to five o'clock. After five o'clock, they go home, they're able to handle their business, do whatever it is they need or want to do. And from there, they don't have to really worry about work. When it comes to work, they only deal with it within those certain hours and that's that. Now, I know that's not for everyone. Some people have a more serious career and they have to do a lot more. But for the majority of people who are just in that simple nine to five job, you don't have majority of responsibilities that you get once it comes time owning your own business. And I feel like no one tells you that. You go from working an eight hour shift to almost working 12, 14, 20 hour shifts, day in, day out. And obviously it's not always gonna be hard labor work, but some of that's gonna be going home, replying to messages, setting up your QuickBooks, running your tax forms, getting everything like that done that they don't tell you you have to do. When you, when you hear about owning your business, all you know is you get to make your own schedule. Some people make a lot of money and they get to live the life they quote unquote have been wanting to live. But they don't tell you about all the sleepless nights, the restless nights and all the hours and money that goes into starting this own business. And I feel like that's number two for me that uh, you guys should definitely be aware of. So for number three, um, this has been something that I've learned to adjust to. And that's going to be in this game and anything it is that you do in life, any business, any type of style, any type of swag it is that you have yourself. Be prepared for people to pick and choose and steal little things from you. And what I mean by that is. It may be a certain lingo, it may be a certain name you use for a package, it may be the way you do certain things. But all I can say is, coming down to this, you'll see a lot of people who use not a car wash, or they use a lot of the package names. Or for example, they literally take my website and they use it as their own, or that's their promotion. I seen some guy use my um, holiday special picks as his own, and I just want you guys to feel like at the end of the day, be prepared when you come into any industry that there's gonna be people that one, copy you, and two, don't like you. And I feel like that's the biggest thing because there's a lot of people that go into any business trying to please everybody. And the realness is once you jump into owning your own business and doing things yourself, you're gonna understand that you're never gonna be able to please everybody. There's gonna be some clients, there's gonna be some people you have to say no to. And I just feel like that's one of the biggest things I wish I knew is that one, people will steal little things from you and it's not a bad thing, but don't allow little things like that to get to you. Don't allow them to step over you and pick and choose their own pricing of what they feel you're worth because at the end of the day, it's your business. You have the right to say no. And I feel like that's one thing people don't stress to you is that 
you can tell the client no and don't feel like because you're running a business that you have to deal with it. You have the ability to refuse service to anyone and anybody you don't want to serve, as well as the fact that there's things in this game or anything you may not fully like. Use it to fuel yourself. And what I mean by that is I take all these little things and I allow it to create something better and almost create a new wave, a new thing for everyone else to kind of follow and pick up upon. And you gotta understand if people are almost looking up to you and trying to copy little things, you're doing something right. So just understand that. And I feel like if I could share anything with you guys, it would be that. Um, that's one of the biggest things. All right, so for number four, this has been the biggest thing I've had to learn myself and no one really tells you about it, is when you own your own business, you're completely reliable and responsible for everything that goes wrong. And what I mean by that is, if you hire an employee and they mess up, that falls back on you. As well as the fact that one thing I was used to is working at a regular job, if something broke or something went wrong, the bosses or the higher up took care of it. It wasn't anything I had to worry about. There was no stress, but coming into this business and owning it myself, whenever my pressure washer goes out, my generator, anything like that, it's up to me to have the money, the funds and the capital to be able to get it fixed. So I feel like that's one of the biggest things is when you own your own business, nobody really fully tells you that you're responsible for everything and the amount of money saving and money habits you need to have when it comes to being an entrepreneur because I will tell you firsthand that you do make good money running your own business if you do it properly. But if you don't properly manage the money, it will eat at you because there are expenses that comes up. There's business insurance. There's a lot of things that cost money. And at the end of the day, if you're not able to make the money and properly manage it correctly, you won't be running a business, but the business will be running you. So don't allow that to happen to you. And I feel like for those that are getting into it, and like I said, one of the biggest factors is money when it comes to people wanting to start their own business. And I'm not saying it to detour you or scare you, but at the end of the day, I want you to understand that when you are your own business owner, you're fully liable for everything that goes on in this business, whether it's detailing a car, working with a, a customer, or let alone some maintenance that needs to get done on this van, it is completely up to you. And I feel like a quick tip I wanna throw in there, is remember that you are the business. So make sure to take care of your mental health, your personal health, because at the end of the day, you get so caught up in wanting to work and wanting to better yourself, your business and make money that if you don't take care of yourself, there is no business. And I feel like that's something I wanna throw into there that people don't tell you, is to make sure you fully take care of yourself. Yes, it's good to hustle, it's good to work, but you do need a day off. Don't let people tell you that if you take a day off, you're weak, you're not hustling, you're not really going at it, because those will be the people to burn out faster before you do, and you're gonna be the one that's in the game for the long run and not the sprint. Coming at number five, I feel like one of the most important things that you guys need to understand is that it's okay to fail. And what I mean by that is, you guys, some people look at me, they see the YouTube, they think everything happens so perfect and so fast, but truth be told, that's not the case. I had a lot of ups, I had a lot of downs primarily, and a lot of failures that helped make me into the business owner and the person that I am today. When I first started, I made mistakes. Don't be scared to make mistakes. What I would say is be scared to take a risk. If you guys are scared to take risks, maybe you're not meant to be an entrepreneur or let alone be a business owner. Because I will tell you when everyone asks me, how did I get the van? Did I have a lot of money? I didn't. I just knew I'd be able to come up with that monthly payment be able to hustle and get that money and be able to pay for what needs to get paid. And that's simply how it went. But I feel like nobody stresses to you when it comes to owning a business. Sure, they tell you it's failed and you get some people who get a straight shot up to you know stardom and they have the easy route. But at the end of the day, don't be afraid to fail. Be scared to take risk. And at the end of the day, also too, one thing I wanna share with you guys is it's okay to mess up. You will have mess ups and if you mess up, don't feel like you need to quit. Don't feel like that's the end of everything. Sometimes I feel like the world may end. I've messed up a couple cars, but as long as you're honest with the client, you promise to fix it and get things done and take care of it as you should, remember, leave things how they were when you arrived. Obviously, when it comes to cars, we love to leave them looking better, but never leave them looking worse. And with that being said, don't be scared to try new things. Don't be scared to offer polishes, offer ceramics. Don't be scared to completely transition your entire business or bring in help. Take the risk and trust me, at the end of the day, the learning experience will be well worth it if it doesn't work out. But if it does, then you know you made the right decision and you're doing what it is you wanna do. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That's gonna conclude five little things I kinda wish I knew before I jumped into my own business and also five things that no one really lets you know about beforehand. So if this helps you guys out or if you guys happen to fall 
in any of these categories and you make these mistakes or you happen to have done them before, drop a comment down below and let me know exactly how you related to this video or how it may have helped you. But also drop a comment and let me know any other video ideas you might like. Do you guys wanna see more day in the lives or do you like these business structured videos where I'm helping you guys out with some tips, some advice, as well as the slow months that come in the winter for some of you, like it is a little bit for me. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is James with Top Class Detail. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one.